Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to rip a DVD using your PC or laptop to an MP4 file. Um, so therefore, you can use it on other devices and it's just a lot nicer than using the disc. You can also do the same thing with Blu-rays. thing to note with DVDs is they are only in 480p or 576i, so they are not in HD. If you rip a Blu-ray, then it will be in HD. Um, I'm using the series 2 of the Inbetweeners for this. Um, I already did season 1 and season 3. I meant to do season 2 first, but I clicked the wrong disc and I thought, you know what, I've already started doing it, so I might as well. And I thought I'd make the video on this one. Now, it pretty much works the same way for either films or a series. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So, uh, I'll show you the app that you need to use and that. After I've done this, it'll just be easy to do it this way. So you obviously need a computer with a disk drive in. My PC does not, so I'm using my laptop. Well, and then you just get your DVD. And you just insert it. So let's get into the screen recording. So guys, this is the app you want to get. It's called Make MKV. Now this converts the M uh, the DVD to an MKV file. Uh, now, obviously, I said in the video at the start of the video MP4. I'll show you how to convert it then from MKV to MP4. There is ways to convert the DVD straight to MP4, but it genuinely just works better doing it this way. So you want to click download MKV, run the setup. That's really simple, so I don't need to guide you through that. You'll be able to do that yourself. So then you want to open Make MKV. Now this video is a bit laggy since I'm using TeamViewer to screen record the laptop because the laptop's not powerful enough to do it itself. So once you've done it, it should already see that you've got the Inbetweeners in. So as you see there, it says the Inbetweeners Series 2. So you just want to click this little DVD button here to click open DVD disc and it will basically just scan everything that's on the disc so it can do that. So once it's done that it basically knows everything that's on the disc and now obviously uh, here there's a bunch of different episodes and there'll be the special features as well. On a film you can pretty much guess which is the film and what's the special feature since the film is obviously takes up the most storage. Now you might want to keep the special features anyway but I am this in this case going to keep all of them because I want the special features and then you just click up here and click make MKV and then it will say that the video directory does not exist you just click yeah create it and then it will start doing it now this does take about an hour some it depends how long your film is and like how obviously I think it will take longer if you have a blu-ray but it also depends how good your DVD drive is so that will take a while but yeah I'll be back when it's done so here we go it's done now 17 titles saved and then to find it go to local disk video and then here it will be so do whatever you want with that but as you can see the MKVs which you might not be able to play unless you have VLC you can play them in VLC quite easily and they don't have their proper names so I'm gonna get this file onto my main PC and then I will show you it from there so as you can see they all play fine just in VLC as is but MP4 is better so I recommend WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe um, this you have to pay for this but there is a free version well not a free well I cr got a cracked version basically which is getting the premium version for free I will either make a video about how you get that and upload it before I upload this and link it in the description or I will link someone else's video of how to get this in the description in case you want it so so destination folder I go browse and I have set up a thing so season 2 add it there select folder then you get all your files and drag them in and then this also takes a while but then again you don't have to do this this is an optional step the files work fine in MKV format but I genuinely just think it's nicer to have them as an MP4 so I'll be back when this is done then once it's done you click OK and it will open the folder and then you'll have them all downloaded as MP4s now obviously 
it's difficult to tell what's what. If you, it's just a film, you just pick the one that you obviously know is the film. But for a series, what I do is I get up the thing. And obviously I've watched it loads of times, so I can tell from do, watching this that this one is the field trip. So I would just rename this one the field trip. And there, and then I'll continue to do that for the rest. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.